Hey, good afternoon. Uh, Bill Fell here at uh, AUSA to, to talk to you about the Defiant program. So in front of uh, me here is a model of the Defiant aircraft, an X2 technology aircraft. So what is X2 technology and why is it better to have this sort of an aircraft? Typically, helicopters are sort of limited at about 150 knots because of uh, retreating blade stall. And this aircraft doesn't have to fight with that because we have two rotors. We have an upper rotor that turns this direction and a lower rotor that turns this direction. And we rely on the lift of what's called the advancing side of those discs to produce uh, more efficient lift and uh, that allows us to go fast and so as we go faster and faster we need less and less pitch on these rotor blades to go fast which allows us to use all of the engine power to go into the pusher prop to go fast this aircraft has gone 247 knots in level flight already it's gone 56 knots in side flight so when you design a helicopter you typically design it and you think ah, how much power do we need to hover? Or what hover environment do we want to put this aircraft in? And then you put that much power in it. Well, in a, in a uh, fast helicopter like Defiant, you design it around how much power you need to push it to the speed. The Army's asked for 230 knots, we've gone 247 knots. And so what that means is, if I have combat damage in this aircraft, I can lose one engine and still hover on that one engine at mission gross weights, as well as go all the way out to 150, 160 knots on one engine. So great combat survivability. Additionally, the pusher prop will allow us to go out there at those speeds around 250 knots, but without the pusher prop, I can still fly as a helicopter at around 150 knots. And if I disengage the pusher prop, uh, I get rid of the acoustic signature of that prop and I'm a much quieter machine uh, at this point as well. Additionally, because we have this big rotor system, we're a traditional helicopter and we have great hover efficiency and we're able to do things like pick up a 5,300 pound load like we did. And we had a lot of uh, power remaining in picking up that load. So you can do those normal helicopter things. Uh, why don't we transition over here? We have a mock-up of the Defiant aircraft. So it's a fly-by-wire aircraft, 100% authority fly-by-wire. And the pilot has a sidearm controller that uh, he sits in a very comfortable position and controls the sidearm controller with his uh, right hand and a traditional collective with his left hand. On that collective is a beeper that he pushes forward to get more thrust out of the prop and aft for uh, less thrust out of the prop. That prop while we think of it as that's what makes us or allows us to go 250 knots, it also provides amazing deceleration capability that we can put negative pitch in that prop and it's helping us slow down as though we had just deployed a big parachute out of the back. And, uh, you know, what does that mean? Why, why is it important? Well, it's less time in that vulnerable position where you're coming into those landing zones under enemy fire. You're able to keep the speed on longer uh, as you're coming into those landing zones than uh, you know, if you had to you know, start slowing down earlier. You can keep the speed on until right before you get to that landing zone, negative pitch on the prop, decelerate rapidly. A typical helicopter, when you come into that landing zone, you have to bring the nose way up to slow down. What does that mean? Me as a pilot, I can't see where I'm going now. The nose is way up. So now I'm decelerating level. I put negative pitch in the prop and I'm slowing down and I'm stopping uh, using the prop. And it's, uh, it's great for all sorts of applications uh, beyond military application. Think uh, EMS coming into some uh, crash site out on the highway where there's wires and it's someplace nobody's ever landed a helicopter. So it's not really about the uh, 
performance of the aircraft entirely, it's about taking this payload to the, uh, to the objective. And it, the doors on this aircraft are huge. And that's on purpose. We made these big cabin doors so that as you look at these three rows of troops, when you get to that objective, they can immediately pour out of the aircraft and get everybody out of the machine in a couple of seconds. And that is gonna let you get that combat power on the landing zone faster. Speaking of that combat power, there's a uh, depiction here of five defiance in a landing zone, and that's a typical Army landing zone that they would put five Blackhawks into, and that's kind of the standard. So our configuration is the same footprint of Blackhawk, and you're able to get those uh, guys quickly into that landing zone. We've recently flown a couple of Army aviators uh, in the aircraft, and I think they've been very pleased with uh, what they've seen, and we've completed all of the performance objectives that the Army's asked of us, and we're continuing to do more and continuing to expand the envelope uh, down at our flight test facility in West Palm Beach, Florida.